Hello and welcome to the German Spearfishing channel. In this video I want to try a new format. I want to comment how I go spearfishing. Um, just the thoughts that I have underwater, um, what I'm thinking, how I am hunting. I choose this spot because um, there are lots of rocks in the water, it's really shallow, about 6 meters deep and it's beautiful for hunting. The water is crystal clear, it's in Javea next to Alicante in Spain. It was uh, at the beginning of October, the weather was perfect, the water temperature was 22 degrees and it's a good season for hunting for wolffish, uh, sea bass. If you can see, there is an opening between this small island and the mainland and this is where the current is going through. So this will be a good spot for hunting because the fish always love the current. So we started at the beach and went for this current. So when I jumped into the water I instantly saw two smaller sea bass uh, I knew that it's sea bass season because uh, at the end of September they are coming to the coast and you're able to shut this beautiful fish. So I just started my hunt and give this small wrasse uh, a first shot. Um, this is a male wrasse because they are grey. Um, it's a good fish for spaghetti but nothing special. Um, so I kept hunting and swam to um, this point that I showed you in the intro where the current is going through this um, island and the mainland um, and it built a small cove in there. You can see there are lots of algae in the water and current plus algae that's always a good indicator for fish. So I just swam a little bit around and looked around for fish and at the moment I saw something is moving um, in the field of my eyes. So I stopped. Yeah, here you can see how I pointed at it. And I didn't know what kind of species it was. Um, I dived down and saw that the scorpion fish was hiding between the rocks. I gave it a clean shot. Um, it's looking small, but it was um, 33 centimeter. Normally they just grew up to 30 centimeters. At the end of the pectoral fin uh, they have venomous spikes so you have to be careful but when you cook them the venom is denaturated. So I kept on hunting and what you can learn from this video suddenly two big sea bass um, arrived and you have to take your chance. Um, you have just one try, so I gave this um, sea bass, I saw he is big enough, a good clean shot. You can see the fish is paralyzed because he isn't moving at all. Um, this is because you hit the spinal nerve. That's the best shot you can give a fish because um, the meat isn't any more stressed. So this was a beautiful fish, it was my first sea bass and I was so happy you can hear how I, how I laugh at the water. Um, it was I think 42 centimeters and about 900 grams. One kilogram of sea bass is um, at that season around 15-20 euros at the market. So here you can see how I retrieve the arrow from the fish. You have to hold down the barb and then stick it to the flesh. If you don't hold down the barb, uh, the barb will go through the whole um, meat of the fish and destroy it. Don't forget to give the fish a stitch at the heart with your knife because a paralyzed fish isn't dead, he's just paralyzed. So I recock the gun and go on spearfishing and here you can see how I shot uh, a barb. Um, I love this fish, it's one of my favorite fish. They're not that big but the flesh is beautiful and they're not that hard to shoot. While I was spearfishing a friend followed me with his uh, DJI Mavic Pro 2 drone 
with a Hasselblad um, camera and shot this beautiful scenery. And this drone has a very good resolution and it is also great to have a look on spots right from the beach. So he gave us a glance where to go when we are spearfishing. I will post an Amazon link where you can find the drone and his details uh, in the video description and in the comments. So have a look on it if you want to. So here you can see how much time you sometimes have if a fish arrives. When I hit the record button the GoPro starts recording in like 3 seconds and the video just instantly starts with the shot. So you don't have much time to think about. The best thing you can think about is what kind of fish is it? Is it big enough? Don't shoot two small fish. Uh, fish underwater look one third bigger than they are over water. So I shot this really beautiful second sea bass. We are here in Spain near to Alicante and this is the catch of today. Really good. Two big wolves. 45 centimeters. One scorpion fish, I never caught one of these. Yeah, one. And one barb. Beautiful. So I simply gutted the fish, filled it with thyme, garlic, sage, lemon, olive oil mixed together with uh, salt and pepper. Then preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and bake the fish for like 20 minutes and enjoy it. Beautiful meal. If you like this new format, commented spearfishing, just give me a thumbs up, follow up my channel, give a like and if you have any questions, just comment them below. I will answer for sure. So catch up guys. Thank you and goodbye.